Hey guys, what's up? Trickisty here. Today I'll be showing you how to read out a database and create your own online database. So let's first of all open Coda and create a small form. All we'll need is a edit box something like that and a button Okay, this is all we need. <clears throat> Let's open a new auto IT file, paste that in. First off, we'll be adding two includes, one of which is winhttp.au3, and the other is string.au3. these we can just remove right here we'll go into the function main if the button is pressed we want it to go to function uh, call it database in here let's create a new variable let's call this um, HTTP equals object create Let's see, win http dot win http request whoops request there we go. We want to open a connection. This will be get and our um URL to the database okay so right now we have a URL but we can't define this URL yet because we haven't created a database and there's no URL so let's create a database and a new document. So database. Uh, let's add some stuff like uh, username equals trickista password equals one two three this is a data base or what not
we can just add in whatever we want. Okay. Save it. We can leave it as a text document. And now let's go over to our browser and here's a simple uh, Weebly website and uh, if you're using Weebly it's really easy to do you can go over to the design and go to HTML slash CSS uh, edit and you have the CSS and you'll have all the images saved here well you can also upload uh, other uh, files not only images so let's uh, upload our database alright save that and let's publish we'll call this database TK Now let's open the website and here is the website. Now how can I access uh, the file that we just uploaded? So we can do a slash file slash theme data base dot txt. Okay, right. I did a small files theme database dot txt and there's our file so let's copy this link oh okay <laughs> there we include all that so this is our link. We'll send it. Wait for response. So it waits till it gets a response. And then the source is response text so it gets it gets the response and we're going to save it as source all right and then we want it to be displayed in database so for this set data of database as source and then we can go back to main and uh, looks like that is it um, we want to close the connection of course so we don't have many connections open zero okay let's start it get database and there we go so as you saw that took a matter of seconds we can actually ex exactly test how long that took Oops. right of course half a second so that's pretty good alright let's load up a database with more info and see how long it takes
but this is the basic idea of how to set up a database so something like this Go back. Come on. There we go. So this is now 413 kilobytes. Nothing big. All right. It's up. We hit. And there we go. We have all this. Wamba Jamba stuff. And yeah. Okay, so that's how to read out a database uh, from a website. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it helped, and stay tuned for more.